bro like when i when i did a beat for this dude i did not see it going this way you know, I, I guess, like, the fucking, the Fantano, like, pitchfork bullshit, like, goes to his head. I don't know what the deal is, but this shit is, this shit is tanking, bro. Like, it's, it don't even, it's not even really musical. It just sounds like he just, like, throwing shit at the wall at this point, dog. It's like, the fake death grip shit was working, but now what What are we on? What is... My manager, my manager is calling, but bro, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> look, look, listen. I've been telling people something disappointing for a long time. Correct. Is this true or not? Yeah. Is this true? So. I'm just sick of like you hiding <laughs> it from me because I feel like it's like oh. Oh, I'm telling the public my album's shitty. Like, oh, no, I'm about I, to put out a bunch of trash. But like, I'm like, good. okay, but when are you gonna play me the fire? Because you keep t- saying all this trash shit. But like, I know you—you you don't even know what's gonna happen right now. Listen, I made 93 songs for this piece of shit right, right quick. You see this? And this is proof right here. I meant to make 89. I accidentally made four more because why 89? Because that's the year I was born, and I was just. Just an arbitrary number. You were on some nut shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Something's definitely wrong with me. But um, so I made all these, and um, from those I whittled it down. And you know, I just want to play you something from this little disappointing thing I have ready to go. Cause here's the thing: when I made this album, Veteran. I edited a lot, like I left a lot of shit out because yeah. I was like, maybe people won't fuck with that. Not yeah. like, oh, people w- not won't get it, but maybe like this is just not good for the ears. Like this just doesn't sound good, you know. But um, this time I just said fuck that shit. I didn't edit anything, so it's just a completely raw, basically unfiltered demo of it that I've found a way to exist on. Allegedly, it's huh. not that. How many songs are on it? From 93? Yeah. Jesus. They got a lot of leftover shit. I would say. (laughs) (laughs) I can can show you some leftover shit, too. No, I want to hear the shit. Well, listen. I'm going to play some of this shit, man. So, I'm going to start off. So, uh, there's no format to this. I just start playing shit. So, I'm going to start off this... By, with the same song I started off with everybody. It's the same song. It's the first song. You ready? You got to take oh, a wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but this shit is so stressful, bro. Why is it so stressful, man? Because, like, I normally just walk in, where's the aux, press play. This shit, bro, this shit is so heightened right now. Like, I'm about to have a panic attack. What do you mean? He's going to be, he's, it's just not even like that. It's not even good. <laughs> it's not even good. <laughs> All right, hold the on. Oh, I'm almost better. ready. I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. Then what I'm about to play. Man, this weed is so strong. Let me just give a shout out to the weed real quick. That shit's strong as <laughs> fuck. I wish y'all was smoking. I really do. I wish that they don't smoke. They're straight edge. All right, I'm ready. You ready? I'm about to be straight edge when I turn 30. <coughs> hold up. I'm so glad I made it past 27. Making it past 27 is big. It also means like we're not, we could have been like bigger legends. Because if you think about all the 27 club, they did that much shit by 27. By I, didn't 27. Do, I didn't do shit. I didn't, no one even knew who I was until I was like almost 30. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm about to have an excellent <coughs> crisis. Just play this shit. You ready? Yeah. So this is the first. For, I played this, this as the first song for the, everyone I played it for. So okay. this song was called Jesus Forgive Me, I Am a Thought. You ready? Yeah. Hold up. I always do that with this song for some reason. I don't know why. Here we go. You ready? Let's go. You ready? You ready? Play it. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Hold up. <coughs> you got to get the volume right. All right. Get comfy in 
in your disguise. Pray for my thoughts on the other side. Pray for my children I can't provide. I'm for 45. Pray for you shooters on the other side. Pray for my haters, they terrified. <laughs> you fucking with it? Is that I a yay it. or a knee? I love it. You love it? If it, it feels like <coughs> it feels so mature. I feel like I need to listen to the lyrics another five times for me to speak on like what the song's really about, but but just the impression of it is like if like those little moments where it gets real aggressive, mm. it feels like someone's almost trying to escape. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like Thank you. a yeah. piece of the old Peggy or a piece of something from a long time ago is trying to like irk its way out. Yeah. And then you feel it come back to the to the piano. <laughs> yeah, you kind of yeah. singing like you singing through it, but like something's trying to irk its way out through all that melodic shit and all that other like that's peaceful mean. shit. You know, that's what it, that's what it felt like. No, but, that, that that that's a dangerously accurate. I never I never thought to like word it that way or think of it in that way, but that, that's it's like crazy. A, that's kind of accurate. The things were just like peeking out, like you just, all of a sudden rah, you just hear a different voice come out. It's like that's that where was where is up in this whole song? Don't make sense in this song. But no, like, like yeah, that that's no, that's an example of something I would have edited out before. Like yeah. maybe I would have took it because I would have been like. Maybe that doesn't quite make sense, but I made it. I make it all in one sitting, so it's just like not in. Where did you make that? Where? Yeah. At my house. Alone. <laughs> yeah, everything, I mean, beat, vocals, everything. Yeah, yeah, that was. This is all in my studio. It's crazy. Like it's yeah. like the. I know it's it's probably just effects and filters and different shit, but it's like the vocals sound like they're recorded different places, different times. That I know you be doing all types of degrading <laughs> and shit like that with the vocal, but like. Yeah, it's, it's it's got a lot of like texture, bro. It, but, it, it's crazy. Like people will unload on. Like th this is how this is how it is. It's like I feel like it's like the Wild West and Mad Max shit. Yeah, that's why like I like that I got any kind of notoriety now because like I'm just like anything I put out it has a is it'll reach a wider scale than it used to before. So I'm just like for sure. I'm glad I'm making I'm making something to completely unfiltered because I'm just like nah fuck that shit man. I'm about to just throw balls to the wall and be as the first time I ever was like, the first time I ever took the cuffs off and like just made an album that's just like me, yeah. was veteran, and it gave me the most success I've ever had. Yeah. So I'm like, I just doubled down on that. Like, let me just go in harder, but like, I don't know. And I also like a lot of the album is just more about me. Instead it of sounds like, like it from just one song, but like, from a production aspect, me and Rick Rubin had talked about this. We were talking about how if if you talk about hip hop producers who were born 10 years before you were me, because we're two years apart, a year apart. Like, if you were born 10 years before us, you probably have a whole bunch of sample drums on the drum machine, and that's yeah. how you've learned to make beats, and that's what you're comfortable as, and that's the sound you hear. Yeah. We grew up differently making beats on computers and making yeah. beats on laptops and shit, so like, what you're drawing from, production-wise, in your shit, like, it's... it's lost. It it's, yeah, but it's like, beyond, it's like, it doesn't go back to drum machines even, it's just internet weirdo shit like That's it's like it, it, cuffed. yeah uncuffed. it feels like that it just feels like kind of just like the dark web <laughs> of like it's like it's like if the dark web got like a hold of your beat and spit it back out <laughs> the dark web gross beat uh preset it's like if you uploaded if you uploaded like a normal song to the dark web and then it like just like hung out with it for like ten days, and then it gave you that song back. <laughs> That's what the shit sounds like. <laughs> mm. All right. So 
that last joint was um. Why are you why are you talking like it's hot ninety seven? <laughs> All right, so that last joint was hey, Jack Cole coming up. We got Omarion's new single <laughs> on Young Money Records. With Young Money, it's called Icebox. Let's go. Hey yo, so that last joint was called. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> nigga, it's just rolling up. <laughs> it's just packing up the boat. Hey, yo, so that last joint was called. Um... <laughs> you know, we back in the basement, back in the studio. Sergeant Kenny beats. You ever try to figure out your favorite songs on the album by the song titles? Yeah, that's why I picked. Just... I'd be like, damn, that's probably gonna be my favorite song just because of the name. What about this one? Whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa, what? So I want to get your reaction Wait, to this Wait, play one. that. Play <laughs> that. What is that? Wait, before I play this. So, there's <laughs> a very interesting story about this. This beat. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell a story about the beat. So, like, this is how I made the beat. I think I showed you this beat before. <laughs> that was the worst story. So, let me tell you an interesting story about this beat. <laughs> this is how I made the beat. <laughs> Man, shut up, bro. Play that shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta tell the story. I gotta get. I, I gotta have content. This shit gotta be eight minutes long. Hold on. So, um, the beat I made it out of fire. So here's what I mean. So, when I was in Hawaii, I recorded fire everywhere because every all, niggas was just having what's the shit called? Fire. fire. They just had fire everywhere. So I was just recording fire. So I put fire in like. What do you mean they had fire everywhere? I can't think of the word. Like a campfire. Or oh, like people were just Bonfire. like heat, ball, like heating themselves on those fires. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was like, man, this shit sounds crazy. So I took, I recorded fire and put it in a spectral analyzer, and I was like, like the crackling. Yeah, and it just it just takes up all space and frequencies. So I was just like, if you had a simple beat and put fire around it, it would make it sound like. A lot of shit is going on. You yeah. know, nothing's going on. Yeah. So that's what the beat is. I made a beat because all it is is like a clap and a synth, and then I have fire around it, and it sounds like a lot's going on, but nothing's happening. It's my favorite shit. I love, I love ambiance. Yeah, it's like it's weird, and then it's it's, it's a free, it's a remix of the dots freestyle, the very first episode of Don't Overthink Shit. Fucking play this, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all ready? I stuff a Glock in my bitch pot. Bitch, stop. Skinny nigga, they pop. I put the pedal to level, we gon' nick him and not. Can't top. Five nine with the stick, I look like big pop. Shot. Spot a bitch is not hot. I could I not? Everything you cop. I kill a Glock, now I'm sending bullets at your zombies. You never harm. Niggas try to be a numb. But I've been playing with pistols since you watch it, you not. I'm not a rap, I'm white trash, and I'm over body. So that was a Dots Freestyle <laughs> remix. <laughs> that's crazy that that's a real song now. <laughs> yeah, I just, I like... This is good. This is really good for me just because I get abused about it a lot. Oh, really? About just like, oh, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, just, so yeah, oh, yeah. But it's not a real, like, it wasn't a real song. Like, we have real songs that are secrets, so I'm like, nah. Yeah. That's amazing. That I beat, thought, I, the I, beat is crazy, too. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. I I tried to find, I wanted to find a way for it to exist <laughs> in, real, in real time. Who's on it? Buzzy Lee. Okay. Sasha. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, Crazy. So yeah, Buzzy Lee sounds homie, really good. Abdul Ali is on the back end, just talking about crying. Yeah, I like that <laughs> clip. <laughs> Saying it sounds like some Mad Lib shit, bro. Yeah, that like the having a vocal like a vocal clip and the song like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah, man, Mad Lib, man. Saw him get saw him in that interview for the first time ever. We, we got to get on some weird shit like that. We got to start having no phones. Bro, yeah, man. Like, only drinking red wine. 
people. Wearing like, hella rings. Yeah, hella rings. You got to hit up like four people to hit up four people to talk to me. <laughs> and then and when I do talk, it's only like, it's a speech, text to speech on my iPad. But it's, a, it's the first iPad. Text. <laughs> it's like the first iPad. <laughs> so it can't be hacked. <laughs> Technology's too old. This is crazy. Bro, you have me in here doing a fucking reaction video for someone who has a titty mouse pad. How do you feel? Your boy is not stable. Like, I don't, does he have a manager? Like, what? Your, if you make an album with a titty mouse pad, it should not be allowed on Spotify. Like, it should. Look at your boy. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.